Hey, my name is Sydney and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things Facebook ads. And today I quickly wanna show you the easiest, simplest way that you can get better results with your Facebook ads by doing this super simple, easy, very not hard little thing uh, with your creative. So we all know that the creative is the most important part of our Facebook ads. And that includes the actual messaging, what's put on it, but actually even the text overlay. So this is a test that I've done multiple times across different accounts. And every single time when I do this, it performs better than the other tests that I was testing it against. And that is simply by using native Instagram and Facebook fonts or TikTok fonts. Honestly, all of them are very, very similar. What I mean by this is simply when you have any text overlay inside of your video or even your image using fonts that are native to the Instagram and Facebook stories text option. So I just type some words with the Instagram font using the story creation option. You also have the same font options when you're creating reels. And I've just typed out some words with the specific fonts. If you're using Canva for your images or maybe even for adding some text overlay on your video, these are all the fonts that correspond to the Instagram fonts. It was actually really difficult to find the exact name for the font. I looked all over the web for the names of the font on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok and it was really difficult to find it, not sure why. But on Canva, I did as best as I could to match the exact font with the Instagram font. Now, if you're using something like CapCut, which I absolutely love using, or I don't know if your video editor is using anything like CapCut, or maybe they're using Adobe, these are also some different fonts. They're slightly different than Canva on some of them, and not all of the fonts available on CapCut are available on Canva. So I've matched all the different names that you can use on CapCut. And honestly, anytime you have subtitles, text overlay, point outs, any type of text inside of your video, use a native font to Facebook and Instagram, as well as TikTok. So if you're a brand that really feels like you need to stay on brand um, and use your brand fonts and use your brand colors, then I definitely dare you to test out native fonts to Instagram and Facebook because all the tests that I've done so far, it always performs better when I use the native fonts. And this is for big brands and small brands alike, which actually is really nice because it means that you don't really have to put that much effort into the text overlay and figuring out, you know, what looks good and what doesn't, because typically using that native font is going to be easiest. Now there is a few that I typically use over and over again, and I feel like they are the most popular fonts. So if we look at the cap cut fonts, that's going to be the Avenir next as well as the indivisible. So I just feel like these are a lot more common potentially because CapCut actually has something that looks almost exactly like it. That's possible, but I feel like those are ones that I definitely use a lot more often, as well as the first one, Lucette. Those are the types of font that I feel like people like most on Instagram and Facebook as well. Now, when it comes to using fonts from TikTok, again, this also comes down to the same thing. Um, and what I also find works really well is black text, white outline. White outline, black text. And that is, I feel like that's really good for the subtitles. So that's really quick and short. Honestly, we've run tests for other clients in the past and time and time again, whether it's a big brand or a small brand, the native, fonts always tend to perform better. And this is most likely because Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and whatever platform, they want their end user to have the best experience possible. And typically that means seeing things that are, they're a little bit more familiar with. And I feel like already when you have an ad showing up on their timeline, it's something that I didn't really ask to see in the first place. So when you can put some native font in there, it's more familiar. People can kind of see it more and you're more likely to respond to it because you feel more familiar with it. And that's kind of how our brains work. So take this, go apply it, go have a look at your ads. If you're not already using native font, go ahead and try it because I almost guarantee you're gonna get, if you test this against your branded font, I almost guarantee that this is actually gonna perform better. So go ahead and try it. Let me know how it is in the comment section below.